Hi everyone. Ndi mele sente shiwa la chesika we makado. Mdhuru wa macheru macheru. Uva hamuli ma. Uh, I am an actress. Financial planner. A baker. A mother. A business woman. I run an advertising company. On all my social media if you want. It will help you grow your financial. Um, <laughs> if you want me to help you grow your social media status um like get a lot of followers uh for your business get customers things like that i advertise for you and i help you grow your social media right let's get right to the party <laughs> It's a sad experience. I, I spoke about my journey with um, Betterman with that. And it is something that um, I wouldn't want anyone to go through. Because it is honestly a painful experience. Now, a lot of women in our lives will go through miscarriages which is something that comes and suddenly you don't have it you are pregnant and the next thing you are not uh and no one knows why it is only god who knows why now and many girls and women because abortion is legalized in south africa end up doing an abortion now what we are not told is what happens after that okay a life was created in your womb right it starts growing it starts growing when it comes to an abortion you take a decision to cut with a miscarriage god takes a decision to cut but the point is that life was cut short right that life is gone and what happens after with me what happened after was that i i, I obviously went to the hospital they confirmed that i was pregnant i was cleaned um i think it's called womb scrubbing and other women go through that as well. And when we were doing an abortion, it's still the same process where you have to be cleaned inside. But you are cleaned inside. You are not cleaned on the outside. In culturally, they believe that after that you have sinyama. Which even churches believe that you have what we call sinyama. Sinyama is... Is it? Or chinyama. Uh... A dark cloud you are you have bad luck you are um, wanna highly people suddenly don't like you they don't want to be associated with you you are having bad luck to bad luck it's more like cases that follow you we call it sinyama i just don't know how to explain chinyama right now so you're having that chinyama it needs to be cleansed whether christianity whether traditionally they say you need to be cleansed. Now, you go to a church, if you're a church person, if you're a Christian who goes to the Christianity churches, get a pastor, prophet, that prophet prays for you. To remove that. Sinyama. Or you do deliverance. And they still remove that um, sinyama. 
or you go to churches like Bozixisi, Bomapostolo, where they will put you in water. Water that might have candles or just plain water or whichever way they do to deal with a person who has had an abortion or a miscarriage. And then they clean you while they are praying. Because uh, those churches believe in ancestors, so they will also be speaking to your ancestors while they bath you. They will speak to ancestors and they will speak to God as well on your behalf and help you pray. Great. And then that thing is uplifted. If you believe in Sangomas, traditional healers, you go to a traditional healer, they will cleanse you as well. Probably cut, razor you up, or just clean you, or just bath you. Give you water to bath with a bit of herbs inside uh just for you to get that luck back just for you for that dark cloud to go but basically it's bathing you're just bathing with different things from this church to that church but there's churches that don't believe in water so they will just pray for you maybe pray over your head your hands or come to your house pray over something but you need to be cleansed or prayed for afterwards that's what we believe in christianity that's what we believe in gachi traditional um it's a it's a very difficult topic to speak about because i know that um after my miscarriage i didn't want to do anything traditional i only wanted a pastor to pray for me and every day most days when I'm sleeping, I'll dream about that baby. Dream about that baby. Dream about that baby. And I knew that I needed to be cleansed. I need to bath. I need to remove this. And therefore, I went to a church of Apostolo. They were blue and green. Put water, light candles on the side. And I bathed. And it was done. And I've never had that kind of dreams again. So it depends on what you believe in. I went to someone who prayed for me, but I still had those dreams that shows that that thing is still there and it's still kind of haunting me because that person will say, I am your, I'm your child, this and this and this and that in the dream. And as much as it hurts because it wasn't my fault, but I, I, I felt after a long time, I felt I needed to be cleansed because then I felt I was, it's also going to be part of my healing process. And that's what I did. So do what is best for you. No one should force you to do what you are not comfortable to do. Only do what you think is best for you. I know I speak about things that people don't like to speak about. I was raised by a Sangoma. I was also raised by my grandmother on my mom's side who was a Christian. So I kind of know both. I know both and I know what to do and it's my choice at the end of the day whether I choose what I learned from my grandmother from my dead side as a Sangoma or to choose what I learned from my grandmother who is my mom's mom or I use both <laughs> have a blessed day I hope this taught you something